Good evening, this is Nick Inman from VolumeProfileTrader.com on Thursday, December 15th, and this is video two tonight. And I wanted to go over a few names that look like trading opportunities one way or the other. And then in the coming days, you'll have an opportunity to make some money on these. And so I, I'm going to give my opinion on, on possible direction. But with this market, it's really hard to tell. So let's just jump right in. We're going to go through these fairly quick. So Celgene, first things first, uh, September's point of control is holding the bottom of the range. We had lower highs going on and then we you know we broke out of that potential downtrend resistance we see November's point of control we have some high volume right here which is causing some trouble right now for the for Celgene but one thing that's positive is the whole moving averages are all starting to point up so if we can stay above this December point of control and continue higher and ultimately push above this re these recent highs from Monday and Tuesday uh, this thing looks like it can it can move higher. Okay, Abbott Labs. This is a name that's that's done fairly well. It's it's a slow mover, and unfortunately, all, a lot of the slow movers are working right now. But just to break this down quick, November we gapped up from the point of control up to a new a new range. The December range is pretty tight, but you can see right now, this is the first time today, the first time that Abbott Labs has really started to trade above this point of control. So I say this is a name that looks good, and you can have your stop as low as 53.75 or just below this recent swing low or this recent consolidation period. Okay, Walgreens, this is a name that I've... I had some options on back here bouncing off this November point of control. This name's been consolidating lately. It's it's been with a downward bias and uh to continue that we should see a sell off tomorrow from this December point of control. If that's the case, I would play this for for a move back down to the 33 3250 level and see where that takes you. If it can't get below these recent lows, then you know, maybe you should bail on the trade. Okay, Amgen, AMGN, and this is a name, kind of looks similar to what we were just looking at, but you can see gapped off the November point of control. We have our December range well established. We're trading above the point of control. If this thing pulls back and then gets some buying, you can you can buy this and place your stop right under that swing low. Uh, it's, you know, it kind of looks like Walgreens in the sense that, you know, you had, hold on a second. You know, you had this, this move higher balance range, and then Walgreens started to roll over, where Amgen, it's, it's more in a position where it, got, it you know, the, the vertical move is done and we're just kind of waiting for the lower highs to form so if that's the case you know it's this thing will sell back off to the 5725 level or so so if you're not willing to hold that with maybe the chance that you know you get stopped out if you put a stop here then keep your stop tight and keep it under uh, December's point of control All right, Boeing. This is a name that I covered it once not too long ago, and from there it shot up, and I covered it, but I never actually got involved in the name. And you know, unfortunately, I wish I did. And, but what we're seeing now is what looks like a potential a rollover. I would look out for tomorrow. If we get some more weakness tomorrow, I think you can sell this. I think you sell Boeing. I think there's a downside target. Your first target would be 6850, and then from there it could go as low as 65, 66 or so. So if if this is a name that you want to get involved into the short side, rather than shorting, maybe by the January 70 put, and your your risk would be somewhere within this zone, 
or right above it. It's it's depending on your risk your risk profile. Okay, Conoco Phillips. This looks a little different, but I think this is a name you want to keep your eye on. As long as we hold this November point of control and what what looks like it would have been the point if I said point of control, I meant to say value area. This point of control for November up here, if we didn't have this last day of trading, I'm sure this level down here would be the point of control for the month, which means we would be sitting at those levels. I think you watch this and don't not don't necessarily jump in right now. See if this can balance long enough to get the point of control for December down at these levels. If so, this could be a nice opportunity to go long an oil name with a decent upside target being 74 and ultimately new highs. Alright, Cisco, this is a name that has rolled over from its de December point of control. The sell-off has accelerated, though. Let's look at where we are. We're in the pullback of an uptrend, and we're against November's point of control right now. You know, realize that this is a, you know, a whole moving average is moving down. We're in the middle of a short-term downtrend, but longer term, we're in consolidation. So if you want to wait to get involved in this one, wait for the point of control to December to shift to these levels. Maybe you can have a little uh, small placeholder position in Cisco. You're at the bottom of the range. You're at November's point of control, so I think it's a good level. You can have your stop 20, 30 cents lower than current prices, and I think that would suffice your, your risk profile. DuPont. This is a name that looks very interesting and a potential move back to close the gap from earnings. You can see the, the whole moving averages are definitely pointing down. It's definitely negative right now. But we have December's point of control right at the bottom of the range. We're trading right at those levels now. You can see maybe this is a little uh, down, you know, uh, maybe a bull flag on a bigger time frame if you include October's rally. But really ultimately what we're looking at is the bottom of the range you see October's point of control generally speaking in this area December's in here if we can get I, I think this is actually a name you can buy right here right now with a stop below th uh, 43 and if you know if it continues lower that's fine but you can even make the argument for a bullish wedge pattern here so I think this is a name that you can look at your upside target would be 45, 45, 50, which isn't great, but then again, it is December's point of control, so it could move back up to the 47, 48 level. All right, EMC. This is a popular, high-quality name, and we are sitting at the composite point of control, which may not have a ton of credence, but you can see the huge volume that we're creating on the December profile if this point of control shifts then you have a real case to go along this name and look for additional upside if you if you want to buy this name right here right now that's fine I would keep a stop really below these recent swing lows maybe even below this swing low back from a couple of weeks ago and but the real the the trading plan for this is to wait for the point of control to shift to these lower levels. Okay, GE. This is a name that's you know a company raising their dividend, and it, it looks pretty good. However, similar to Walgreens and a few other names that we've already looked at, you know we're getting, for example, today was kind of a rollover. So maybe we have this 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 tight triangle pattern forming. As long as GE can stay above the 1664 level, the point of control for December, this is a name that you want to look to be involved in. However, if we do pull back, it's straight back to the low 16s and maybe a breakdown to 16-ish in general. Okay, IBM, this is a name that people continue to love. Probably they love it more now that Warren Buffett has bought it not too long ago and that's one thing that's going to be positive for the stock you see we're bouncing off the composite point of control we had a nice move lower today 
uh, the last hour of trading and then a nice close, you know, relative to what's going on. So we have we have support right now and it's against November's point of control and the composite point of control. December's point of control is at the top of the range. So I think our our target for the upside is around 192, 193, up to 195, the top of the range. But, you know, we're in consolidation right now, but this is a name that I don't think is bad to own at these levels because you can have your stop so close. Another name, Intel. Warren Buffett also owns this name, and we're bouncing off, or I should we're not really bouncing, we're holding the October point of control. You can see it was a swing low area back in, uh, looks like late November, and we're looking just similar to a few other names for this December point of control to the shift to the bottom of the range. That will give us a, a better opportunity to get long this name, but make no doubt about it, we're coming from ways, you know, we're, we're down at sub 20 on Intel, a slow mover, and now we're sitting at 23, calling it support. So, you know, realize where we are, but if this December of December point of control shifts to the bottom of the range, this should be another good one. Alright, Coke, this is the name, you can see the triangle pattern that's forming as I zoom in. We're sitting at December's point of control, so long as we can hold this general range. Uh, this is a name that you probably want to be a buyer on, especially if it breaks above 6750. That probably means that we're going to go test the 69 area again, maybe even up to 71. So keep this on your radar. You can see this triangle pattern. We definitely have some solid downside resistance here. If we start to break above, this is probably a winner. You know, another slow mover, unfortunately. All right, News Corp, this is a name that looks interesting, sitting at the point of control for the composite. It was the point of control for October and November, and now we, we got basically a breakout, a test of the breakout. It would be nice to see this December point of control move to the uh, lower end of the range, but for right now, we're making lower lows, lower highs, but we're just out of potential support areas, so watch this name. Keep it on your radar. USB, US Bancorp, this is a name that we've been following to the long side, but I'm actually very hesitant to say stay long this name, and I hope this makes sense when I explain it. You can see the composite point of control. So over four months or so of trading, the composite point of control is at the very top of the range. So that means there's a lot of trading that's been done at the top of the range, and we've only been at the top of the range for maybe a three or four week period, maybe a month's long period, and that was enough to make this the point of control. Now we're starting to trade below that. You see the lower highs and lower lows that we're starting to make. Although November's point of control isn't too far away, I think this is a name that maybe you can speculate to the downside for a trade down to 24 but then again this is one of the best banks so I, I don't want to say you know short it and then this thing goes higher and comes back up to 2640 or so stops you out and then you're you're mad this looks like a pretty decent setup and especially if we can break this November point of control then we're definitely going to 24 so it, it's just an idea and the last one ExxonMobil the December point of control, well we're bouncing off, or holding I should say, uh, November's point of control, December's point of control, we're trading right at those levels right now, you know, you see this tight little consolidation pattern. If this thing doesn't come back and test the highs, we may start to form lower lows, or lower highs, I'm sorry, and uh, you know, that could cause for a move lower in ExxonMobil, but so long as this December point of control stays underpriced, and I think this is a name that you can you can stay involved with, ultimately having your stop below November's point of control, but really not being hesitant to being long this name because ExxonMobil is one of the best run companies in the world. So I hope this helps. I hope this gives you a lot of trading ideas, both long and short, and realize that volume profile it's it's ever changing. So 
you know, one day a trade may look good to the long side, it's working to the long side, and then some more volume gets printed, and all of a sudden it looks like you need to back out of this position, perhaps even speculate to the short side. So I hope this helps, and I'll see you tomorrow in the trading room.